Hello and welcome back to For the Love of Cameras. As a lifelong photographer and cinematographer, I have worked with countless monitors in the past and I have owned a ISO CG display for nearly a decade. Today I'm unboxing the Asus ProArt PA279CV and compare it side by side with my old trustworthy ISO CG247. The Asus ProArt display promises pro-level features at a price point that's surprisingly accessible. Is it the best budget-friendly option for creators? Let's find out as we unbox, test and see if this truly offers the best value for your buck. Before we get started, I ask you, please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This will help me grow my channel and provide you more content like this in the future. One of the biggest challenge for creators is finding a monitor that delivers professional grade performance without breaking the bank. And priced at a relative affordable £369 at the time of filming this video, the Asus ProArt PA279CV aims to fill that gap. Straight here in front we can see an uh, illustration of the monitor itself plus the energy rating on the top right. The average consumption is less than 35 watts and less than 0.5 watts if in standby. Let's see what we can find inside. Okay, so first we got here the operations manual power cable, a USB-C cable, a display port and the stand. Feels very sturdy. An envelope with the uh, welcome card to the ProArt family. Here we see the calibration report of the display measured with a Delta E of a 0 0.41. The lower the value, the better. English IEC power cable. The monitor arm covered with uh, hard plastic, but also a metal frame inside. It has a good weight to it, so definitely trusting your monitor on it. Mm. Before we go any further, just want to get the stand ready. This is how the stand goes together. On the underside here, you have a screw which you can tighten. And you're going to lock in the front. This button here on the other side, you lock it in. And then the monitor has very slim bezels on all three sides. On the lower side you have a thicker bezel which also has here this ruler integrated which is very helpful for graphic applications. And here you have the six buttons which you can steer the uh, user interface with and get into the menu. The monitor comes with a USB-C cable that allows for up to 65 watts power delivery, charging your laptop while connected to the monitor. Uh, however, some power intensive tasks that you would run from your laptop might drain your battery faster than it can be charged. If that's an issue for you, then you could also look in the other model, which is the 279 CRV, which allows for up to 90 watts of charging over the USB-C cable. So let's get into the display specifications. The stand itself, it offers a lot of ergonomic adjustments. We have a 15 centimeters height adjustments where we can bring it all the way down to the stand. A five to 35 degree tilt and we also have a 45 degree swivel on each side and 
we also have a 90 degree rotation like so if you want to operate the monitor in vertical. So when we connect the monitor to a computer such as a MacBook here via USB-C, if we power it on and it connects straight to the USB-C interface here and the matte finish as well is great as it doesn't uh, create a lot of reflections and it has also an anti-glare surface coating on top to reduce glare to minimum from any lights. So as you can see, there have a couple of lights in here to film this and you don't have any reflection in the screen. The ProArt PA279CV comes with a 4K UHD resolution IPS display, which is covering a 100% of sRGB and Rec. 709. The monitor is advertised to achieve 10 bit colors, 1073.7 million colors to be exact. The rated brightness that this panel can achieve is 350 candela per square meter, and the contrast ratio is of a 1000 to 1. This is plenty for indoor use, however, it can't really keep up with higher end OLED panels or mini LED technology displays. The response time is a respectable 5 milliseconds, grey to grey, which makes clear that the target audience are media creators and not really professional gamers. However, this doesn't mean you can't enjoy an incredible casual gaming experience. With a pixel pitch of just 163 ppi and an anti-glare layer over the matte display, there is only very little that can hinder your experience. Also with a usable viewing angle of 178 degrees, it lets also other people see the picture clearly or like me here at this angle without changing the colors of the, the viewing experience. In this part of the video, we're going to verify the Delta E of the uh, high-end old ISO display, a very cheap and ultra thin office monitor and then our budget option ta 279 cv and we're going to also again verify the delta e report that we got here from the manufacturer with this calibrite display checker the iso cg 247 has a delta e of 0 0.6 measured overall patches and the HP 27FW uh, standard office monitor has a 0 0.9 average overall patches. Now we're also going to run a calibration on the ASUS PA279CV and see if uh, the results that we got here on the report are going to match up. So we have now completed all the tests and the ASUS just comes slightly ahead in front of the ISO CG247, which is, please bear this in mind, 10 years old. They are uh, excellent choices to work with in any color critical work. However, the ASUS model that we have gotten here, which is a 4K display, offers four times the resolution than the ISO. So. Is the ASUS ProArt PA279CV worth the investment? I believe so, yes. It's rare to find a monitor that combines a 4K resolution, professional grade color accuracy, 10-bit color and HDR capabilities at such an affordable price as it is currently on at £369. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights on the best gear and techniques for photographers and filmmakers. Do you have any questions or experiences with this particular model here? Share them in the comments. I'd love really to hear how this monitor fits your purposes and your workflow. Thank you very much for watching. This is for the love of cameras.